Hey guys, I'm Brad from Fine Tune. I got Christian behind the camera doing all my work. So here we have uh, Tony's brake kit for an F85 X5M. And this is pretty much just what you get in the box here. Uh, we have some ECS stainless steel brake lines here. And I'm just going to do a little unboxing video of what you get in the kit. I just wanted to add that brakes are a crucial safety component. Please do this at your own risk. Brembo calipers, and I believe he has them painted. I mean, these are, these are really nice. So on the X5M, um, you get some really nice calipers up front. If you come take a look here, I'll grab my little light. You get some really nice calipers up front here. Um, they're a little dirty right now because it just drove two hours to get here. But um, but if you go to the rear on these on the F85, you get these very very ugly single piston brake calipers on the rear and it just it doesn't look right it doesn't complete the vehicle look so um, today what we're going to do is uh, replace that and put these nice brake calipers from Tony's on and they should look really nice on it let me get this other bolt on here okay let's come on there we go so I'll put these down when the time comes but um, included here he actually put some nice decals on with the package here. So what happens with these is the front caliper gets like worn out there. So I'll go ahead and replace that with a nice, nice new M decal. All right, so tools needed for this job. We have 11 millimeter wrench, and this is for the hard brake line to the flexible brake line. We have a 14 millimeter wrench for the flexible brake line to the brake caliper. 17 millimeter for the lug nuts. This is a E18 socket for the brake caliper bolts. This is a 10 millimeter Allen key for the brake caliper to the new brake bracket. Needle nose pliers just to get that clip off the rear shock. And then I also use the flathead screwdriver to get that clip off too. And then over here, we have the power brake bleeder from Motive Products. And this fits right onto the BMW uh, brake reservoir to power bleed the brakes. So next step is uh, we'll jack up the rear of this vehicle here on the jacking point. Um, take off the wheel and take off the brake caliper. The back of these calipers are a E18. Very weird star bit, but um, this is the brake pad wear sensor. So just kind of move this out of the way. I'll actually grab some pliers and gently wiggle it out there. That way we can reuse it. But uh, go ahead and break these guys loose first. So right here, um, there's a small lip on this uh, caliper preventing it from just sliding off. Rotor. So I'm just, yeah, the rotor, my bad. Yeah. So I'm just pushing the caliper piston out, or actually in, that way I can wiggle it out. So boom. Now, as you can see, the new caliper bracket's going to bolt right onto this, and it should be a smooth install. So I just want to bolt this on and make sure everything fits before I get carried away and undo brake lines right now. Um, just be careful about the brake pad wear sensor. There is a little 
retainer clip on it. So just make sure you remove it from your old brake pad. So, all right, let's grab the new caliper and see if it fits. And we'll reuse the original bolts. And keep in mind when you're doing this, pay attention to the bleeders. They should be up on the top here. Don't make that mistake. That would be a bad mistake to make after you get them all on and set. So the top one started. We'll grab the bottom bolt right here. And get that one started. Perfect. All right. Oh yeah, plenty of room. That's actually more room than the factory brake. Check it out. That's perfect. Lots of clearance. All right, let's pull this off, pull the brake lines off, and go from there on it. So what I have here is my special BMW tool wood stick and uh, basically the whole purpose of this is to apply the brake pedal down that way when I open up the lines no air goes back through the lines just makes it easier for bleeding later so apply the brake put that right on the seat here we'll just leave that there So now we can go back here and uh, disconnect the brake line. All right, so we have the clips here on this shock absorber. So we have to take that off, which for that, grab my handy dandy pliers. And you wanna get on the lip of this and just kind of wiggle it out. And that's perfect. And then you grab your flathead screwdriver and then use it as a pry tool to take it out. Boom, there it is. It, it's just a retainer to hold the brake line for it. And then now we can slide that up and out of the way. But before we do that, let's go ahead and take off this brake line here. So I have an 11 millimeter wrench. It's not a fancy line wrench or anything, but uh, we don't need a line wrench for this. Ah, that comes up nice and easy. So there will be a little bit of fluid that comes out. I have this fancy, sophisticated jug to hold it. If any does drip out, which there should be. Keep going, almost there. And boom, off. All right, so now the brake line's off. What I like to do is just take this bracket off and place it in a spot that you're not going to lose it in. And then I grab this brake line here and just kind of move it back and forth just to make sure there's no dirt in there for when we get it back together. And then I'll take a, a paper towel and wipe it clean. So that way there's no dirt, no debris going into the new brake line. But now we could fish the old caliper out of the way. And just like that, it's off. And then just fishing this back through. Be careful not to scratch anything. All right. Grab your 10 millimeter Allen bolts. Top one is started, this is the bottom one. The next one's working down to 50 newton meters. Grab the wrench. Mm 
50. Done. All right, so you just put your clip, this time instead of the bottom, we'll put it right on the top. So now you gotta put the brake line on the actual hard brake line. So don't forget this piece right here. Slip that over this, grab your brake line, and go ahead and put it right in the bracket. Just like so. Bring it in, hand tighten it first. Make sure it's started. Yep, definitely started. And then grab your 11 millimeter wrench that you had prior and go ahead and snug it down. Come on. A little more. All right, now for tightening it, you know, get it nice and snug. You don't want to go too crazy, but just enough. All right, that's all good. Next thing we have to do on this. So the right rear has a brake pad wear sensor on it. So I'm just literally reusing the old one. So it has a little slot in the pad for it and we'll slip it right on in. So what I did is I started it in the hole and then I just grabbed a flathead screwdriver and very gingerly, gingerly pushed in. Here, I just went to AutoZone and grabbed some Super Dot 4 because this vehicle takes Dot 4 brake cleaner. And then for bleeding the brakes, I actually have this Motor uh, Products Power Bleeder. And this is really cool because you literally just pour the brake fluid right in this container and then this screws on to the brake reservoir. And so if you come over here with me, on the F85 and the F15, you have to lift up on this rain tray here, which is actually, we might have to take the other side off too. So let's take this gasket off right now. Get that out of the way. So put that out of the way. And then we have the brake reservoir right here. Um, after we do all the brakes on the system, close up all the lines, then we could release the actual rod on the brake pedal. And from there you could put the brake tool on and then bleed the rear brakes just like that. And uh, for this, there's a little brake sensor on here. So go ahead and grab the tip of it, push in and pull out and then just unscrew the cap. Just like that. This is really a nice setup. Tony, well done on the brakes. I mean, it's very simple to install. I mean, not a lot of time. I would guesstimate um, anyone at home doing this job. Probably, probably a 40 minute to hour and a half job start to finish depending on your skill level but it's super easy and quick really i mean nothing to it just pull off the wheel and tire and uh pull off the old brake line undo the brake line and uh put the new caliper on new brake line in and uh bleed the brakes not that much to it thanks for following along tony's email is in the description below please label the subject as brakes and he'll take care of you on them